Hey everyone, this is Sherry from Paranormal World Investigations. First, I want to say hi to all of my fans and my followers and thank you so much for doing the subscribes for our page. We very much appreciate and we're loving our fans. Um, sorry there hasn't been a video for a couple of days. We've been quite busy trying to get things for arrangements for places to visit and um, other little investigations that we've done and posted up about. Um, today's video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about why we're doing what we're doing and what we expect from it and also to talk about 10 of the most common demons and most likely to visit your homes. I'm not saying this will happen but it does and there's 10 and I'm going to talk about 5 of them along with our reasons for what we're doing. And then on a second video, I will then talk about the other five demons and also the importance of Ouija boards and all the facts behind that because I feel that is a really big topic that we do need to talk about and I've been researching a lot. I am going to be reading off of books and devices, books that I've wrote myself because I've been doing research as you can see it's all what I've wrote but in my way so I'm gonna do that and I, I've got my tablet down here as well to talk to you about the Ouija boards on the second video but let's get back to why we are doing what we're doing me and my team and also um, about the first five demons likely to visit your home so let's do this so I first started doing my investigations when I was quite young and I got into groups and I enjoyed it. I learned from a lot of different people that inspired me with the spiritual world as well as having my gifts and being able to be in contact with the spirit world from a very young age. So it kind of just gave me that drive to carry on but then Things in life happen and I stopped for a little while but I never stopped believing in it and I never stopped researching and doing my little bits that I wanted to do. It was only in the last three, maybe four years that I've looked back into going back into the paranormal world. My gift I feel is becoming more advanced, being picked up more. I'm getting a lot more things happening in the investigations and stuff that I've done so I decided that I wanted to make this more official so that's why we have the YouTube channel, we're on Facebook under Paranormal World Investigators and I'm Sherry Brett so just add me on both, you're free to come and talk to us on our YouTube channel because it's made for that as well for advice and stuff um, we do appreciate the support so yeah I I then got this all up and running and I've got my team which is my partner Matt and his brother Anthony known as Ant then we've got the, another new member which is Ricky and we have got Ricky's mum Jo that's going to be joining us on some investigations too and hopefully being a big part of it we love what we're doing. Ricky and Ant's not really got to experience it properly yet, but Ant's been on one investigation with me and my partner Matt, and he liked that. He does all the video streaming for us as well as Ricky. Ricky has had an investigation in his flat, at, um, at his house, sorry, not his flat, with his mum, with me present, and a video's been put up on that. And, um... I think he enjoyed that and it's made him more intrigued in the spiritual side. My boyfriend was a bit of a sceptic, he believed there was something but not until a couple of weeks ago when he experienced something with me. We was going home from Joe, our friend and Ricky from our investigation team and we was going down Pedley Lane and there was a spirit standing in the middle of the road and he see it with his own eyes and I think that's probably going to give him more of the drive to do it even more which is really good because I've always wanted people to be able to experience things 
and you know I think through doing this what we're doing and doing these investigations and having this advice group I think it's going to go far because you're going to see the spiritual side of the world you're going to learn about it you're you're going to be there like you're with us and that's what we want we want our fans to enjoy what they're looking at and what they do what they're seeing and we want to be giving you evidence so that's why we make sure we do everything properly we go through our videos properly we get the best bits we do what we can and I've got an, an amazing dedicated team and I appreciate having them on my team and we just really want this channel and our group to go far right so that's a little bit about ourselves but now I'm just gonna go on to a few of the demons I'm gonna do it out of this book um, that are more than likely to visit your home there's ten that are like likely and not I've looked them up as well to make sure the first and the most known demon that you could come across is Satan the devil himself he is the strongest of all demons he is said to be a fallen angel he went against gods God and then he was thrown out of heaven and that's how hell was meant to have been made and Satan the devil is the main ruler of all of the dark in the world his intentions are to destroy all God's creations and everything that God's created so that's us as well because we're meant to be created by God The devil is the ruler of all demons, all evil spirits, all evil entities. He is dangerous. He is misleading. He doesn't like the living because we was created by God. And obviously, in all the world's eyes, God is the strongest ruler of all. And obviously, Satan doesn't, doesn't like that. So there had to be a bound from him being took out of heaven and put into hell so satan is all the bad in the world where god is meant to be all the good so satan is a malicious and dangerous entity that has the most strongest power that you could ever imagine and has the power over every other evil entity demon that he's made the second one is a ghoul this demon is also known as monster from the ancient Arabia this demon normally lives in graveyards under memorials they also can live in other places that are uninhabited by the living or anything these demons can shapeshift meaning they can change themselves into any form that they want to to fit in with us to fit in with other spirits to capture them to capture our emotions and maybe try and gain control of us because a lot of demons do like to try and possess you take your body over they also they are known to eat the organs of the dead that are buried in graves known to target mainly children because obviously children are innocent they don't really know very much so they're very easy at inviting anything in so uh, demons will target children a lot but they do like target adults as well um, and the weak they can make themselves look like animals or human if you pass one in the street you wouldn't know that you was passing one um, they're always out looking for innocent people to take over and um, always out looking for innocent spirits of people that have passed on to to capture and to get to do what they want so this demon is also extremely dangerous and 
any demons you come into contact you should seek help from priests groups like us because um they're not very easy to get rid of and they're not like the good spirits you've got your poet guys like i said to you in my other videos you do have the poet guys that can be your friends your family and good but mainly poker guys are demonic demon spirits and their their poker guys name is the meaning of it is rumble or make a noise which means that they do things to make sure that you know they're there and normally demons that manifest and throw things and move objects they are normally poetgeist and demons higher than poetgeist the these demons the poetgeist are also known to do these sort of things towards the living as well they do attack the living like all of demons would so i'm just moving around quite a lot these spirits are angry they have a lot of rage they have the most powerful strength poet guys are looked at beyond supernatural control so they own their selves or they don't but they will only bow down to the one god which is satan himself Demon poltergeist and stuff can normally throw most things and you should always be careful if you think you've got one in your home or you, you come into contact with one. If there is anything worrying or you think anything strange is happening it is very important that you do seek help from priests or groups like ourselves again like I said. Number four is an incubus demon. Now this demon is extremely dangerous and it's just really important that i get these demons across to you really an incubus demon is a male form this demon comes to the sleeping mostly women these spirits will normally have the intentions to have sex with this demon will have sex with human women to be able to father a child that's what's said that they try to do many people would probably think that like if a human woman got pregnant by a demon incubus that the child would be ugly but in fact it, it, it wouldn't be in most cases they're very beautiful because they are actually known as fallen angels demons are known as fallen angels they were once in the hands and the love of god but decided to rebel against him so was thrown out of heaven to their own devices because of the way that they acted towards him so they were thrust into hell with satan and they do all the dark and work aside satan If this demon is known to keep visiting you, then it can bring bad illness. Um, they come to you in your dreams, so they can pull you in by your dreams. They would normally show themselves to you as something that is normal and appealing to your imagination in a man's form obviously and you wouldn't know it was him like i said the repeated sex attacks from an incubus can cause bad health and even death sometimes this demon is and it is very important that you seek help from people like us mainly priests and people like that really high authority for the paranormal because these demons are obviously um very dangerous and you wouldn't be able to remove them yourself you could get short-term prayers to keep them away for a short time which i've done with a couple of people 
but you would need to seek more more help and more advanced help and number five because i'm only going to do five on this one and then five on the other video that is the succubus which is similar to the incubus <coughs> this demon goes back as far as the medieval times and a, a, a succubus is a female demon who takes the form of a beautiful woman in in her plans to seduce men that are alive so human men this demon will come to men between and going to sleep so being awake and going to sleep she comes between then in her true form she'd be very ugly so she has to put herself as a, a female and an attractive female to be able to get the man where she wants them so obviously she can shape shift which means she can make herself look however she wants to and whatever is going to make her look appealing to us because that is her intentions is to be able to get as many men as she can and the reasons that she wants to do this is because she is meant to want to mate with the males and form a child so she has to put herself in the most loveliest looking ways and not in her true self because if she was in her true self you'd know that she isn't something that you would engage with she's a very dangerous demon she like all the other ones entices you in obviously they're all formed of the most darkest things so their intentions are not to be good to the living but to get what they want to bring more evil to our world and i feel that this was really important to go over with and to show all of you and i will do the other five on my other video but i hope you like this and you have found it useful and everything and just keep subscribing and following us on our youtube channel paranormal world investigators with a capital p a capital w and add me on facebook sherry brett and add my page on facebook which is also paranormal world investigators as well and if anyone is interested in joining our group and wanting to be part of the investigation team then contact us because we are looking for members we haven't heard from Jaden still yet if you're watching this video and you do get this message just let us know that you're getting the things because we are interested in you joining we just haven't really heard anything back and we have tried contacting you thank you everyone for watching this video and i hope that you liked it bye